Hello humans, welcome back to my channel. For today, I'm taking you with me to Home Depot so we can identify some more succulents. Home Depot just purchased this big batch of succulents right on top of this table, and the best thing is that they're carrying some of my favorite succulents such as Graptocetums, Graptobatellums, Echeverias, and Cacti. Let's not forget about Cacti now. Golden Sedums. Echeveria Golden Glow, Sedum Lime Gold, Graptocetum California Sunset, one of your favorites, and the Aeonium Blushing Beauty, a succulent that I shall own very soon. String of bananas, anyone? However, here are some beautiful arrangements ready to go. So pretty. The best thing is, is that this Kalanchoe Beharensis can grow as large as a tree. However, this Minima cannot. Don't you love how big these succulents are? These agaves have gorgeous colors and will look great with any type of arrangement. Behind are some fire sticks. There's the Aeonium Blushing Beauty and a bloom of an aloe. Here is the big picture of everything that is settled down on the table for people to purchase. And an Echeveria mistila lac, a rosette shaped succulent, one of my favorites. Here are some flowers that I wanted to show you due to their vibrant colors. It made me really happy just seeing all of this and I thought I'd share it with you. There's so many bright colors, I love it. Now we're into the goodies. Here's an Ionium Kiwi. This one is shaped like a tree. So whenever it starts extending its stems, it starts looking more like a small tree which I love. For the remainder of this video, I'll be picking up succulents and showing you their identifications so you can better understand who they are and where they come from and to make it easier for you to research them online. It looks a little bit wild. It looks like filler. So I always open the maverick. are so freaking cute. Oh my goodness. Look at this. It's called a prickly pear snow. I guess the miniature ones are also called that pear thing. Look at this little cutie pie. It's called a mammalia bosanka. Bosanaka. This is a beaver tail cactus, assistant of Pontia. Why do I feel like these are spray painted? Why do I feel like these are spray painted? Guys, is this true? Am, is this real? I think these are spray painted. This is horrible. I that's what I thought because look at these right here. Wait, are they really like that? No, of course not. I can tell by this one because it's peeling away the paint. I think they put dye in this. What? Two different types of color blooms? Or no, no, no. This is someone else's bloom. Well, that. These are little babies. Mammillary <laughs> elegans. Look at that. It looks like it's wants to, wanting to bloom. This one has a huge bloom though. It must get a lot of good nutrition. What are these? Mammillary print. Plenty of hybrid crest roller coaster. What the heck? Are you kidding me? That's what it's called. I think so. You got that down. I like it. so comfortable. Okay, but that's not cool because it's great. Tiger claws. I have some of these. There's a few types of these and one of them is a little bit more bright and pink and then the other one's a little bit more purple. I have both of them 
and they never really quite bloomed like this. Very frosty, it's very frosty. Huh. I think this might be one that I want to talk about. It doesn't look green, it almost looks blue. Isn't that crazy? Look at that. It is a... Come on, focus. That's what you get for messing with I don't know if I should pick it up. Probably not. Here's another one. This one's in better shape. I need to find out what these were. This is so beautiful. What is it? I've seen this one before. It's pretty good. This one looks a little bit stretched out. It might need a little bit more sun, to be completely honest. Do you think it's about to bloom? Is that what those little hairs mean? I think it is. Or it's just developing more of these little spines because I do see that there's some texture and hairs within the center of all of the spines. Got me. People, come on now. I can do a better job than this. Scrap to and hydrid. Damn it, we do not get any type of specific answer to what this... That is so cute. Never seen this one. It looks like you've never seen this. It has stripes, some type of color. They must have messed it up. These are so much better, guys. That looks like cancer, doesn't it? I mean, have you ever thought about how plants get cancer? Is this just a t another type of... No, it seems to be the same species. But for some reason, it is developing... Oh, okay, it's just a really thick stem. But is that why? It just starts, you know, multiplying rapidly. That is so strange to me. And here's another one.